Today we are going to build a Town Hall 12 Clan War League base that you can use in your next war. And we're getting started right now. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another video. In this one, we are going to be building a Town Hall 12 CWL base that I've been using lately. As always, you are going to have plenty of time to take your screenshots. Timestamps to those are in the description of this video. Now let's talk about traps and Tesla placements. If you watched any of my other base building videos, you'd know that I give you the base with and without the traps. But I recommend that you place the traps on your own. If you take this layout and place your traps and Teslas yourself, one, you will learn a little bit about base building, and that's always a good thing. Two, your base will be unique. So if somebody watches this video, they're still not going to know where your traps are. Now let me tell you, placing traps is not that difficult and you can definitely do it. If you are interested in any of that information, whether it's just how to place traps in Teslas or base building overall, Captain Nemo has got your back. Comment down below and I will link you with all of that information. On the flip side, if you don't have time for any of that and you just want to see the traps, like I said, you are more than welcome to use my traps and they are included in this video. And to expand even further on that, I'm going to let you know that there are comprehensive guides coming from Scrappy Academy on how to place your traps and Teslas in bases. I am already working on a video that you'll be able to use with any of the bases that I built. And that is coming very soon. So finally, let's talk about this base and exactly why I like it so much. First, this is sort of like a hybrid base. It's not really an NT2, but it's really not an NT3 either. The town hall is really not outside. And it's not really on the edge of the base either. It's recessed and therefore is going to make you commit some troops if you want to get it down. Next, Barbarian King being wrecked next to the town hall. That's a big advantage against hog attacks. In general, having your BK right next to the town hall is actually a really good idea. You'll be surprised how many times it dead stops attacks. Next, let's talk about the way the defenses are spread around the base. Notice that most of the key defenses are in their separate corners. So whichever way you get attacked, they're not going to go down all at once. Notice the single inferno placements in the north and the west. They are there to be a major nuisance to wall wreckers. If you're getting attacked from that side and they're coming in with a wall wrecker, they better have a freeze spell. Maybe even two. Most attackers like to run their wall wrecker opposite the town hall so they get the most value out of it. This is designed to make sure that we bring that value back down with the spells. If you force them to come into the town hall side with a wall wrecker, that sort of destroys their value and limits the use of it, which is a win for us. Now another way one can choose to hit this base is from the south. You give up some value by giving up the queen, the clan castle, and one of your infernos. You gain that value back by pointing one of your air sweepers in that direction to stop queen walks and some of the dragon attacks. You point all four expos at that initial entry squad. If you notice, all four of them are in different compartments and will be firing on whatever comes in. You also lay a surprise Tesla farm between the town hall and that kill squad. That in itself can really throw off players and really make sure that they don't get to the town hall. As you can also see, there are buildings placed on the outside to help troops bounce out of the base and go for a walk. Either way, the south can be a pretty tricky direction to come in with your kill squad from. I found that most of the time I get hit from the 12 to 3 o'clock direction. Everyone wants to make sure that they get the town hall, so they send the kill squad, the wall wrecker, the slammer, whatever it is, and end up at best getting a two star. 
but if your attacker is overconfident and doesn't bring enough into the kill squad, they're risking not getting the town hall. That's happened many times. Let's also talk about those lower town hall reaches. And that's when a town hall 11 or even sometimes a town hall 10 will come in, throw everything they got at you to get your town hall for the one star and the 50% for the next. Of course, they're going to be happy with a two star against you, a high percentage two star is butter, but you want to make sure that you don't let that happen. Now let's talk about my traps and my Tesla placements. First, let's discuss some air traps, starting with the red air bombs. They should be placed away from air defenses and any other pathing that a hound would take. They cause almost no damage to lava hounds and basically get soaked up by them. What you want to do is you want to take out a bunch of balloons with your air bombs. You want to put them on the map somewhere where the loons are going to be passing by. Your air mines, which are the black ones, should be somewhere near air defenses. They're also really great for taking out healers. Good place for them is near air defenses and maybe spots where you get queen charged a lot. Now let's talk about bombs. I like to pair the giant bombs with the little ones. Combining them together packs an extra punch and really helps against hogs and bowler attacks. You also want to place a few outside the base because that really helps with witch and bowler walks. That one bomb can take out a whole bunch of witches all at once. Now your spring traps should be put anywhere away from where kill squads may enter the base. They're great for stopping hogs, bowlers, and valk attacks. And that's exactly how I placed them here. Both your tornado and skelly traps should go near the town hall. I did that to stop minor attacks. Paired with the ice golems in the CC, that can really slow down the troops giving a Giga Tesla extra time to fire away. As we discussed earlier, the Tesla placements are there to really stop those attacks coming in from the south, as well as those reachers trying to come in from the 12 to 3 o'clock direction. They really help provide that extra DPS for all of the stuff trying to get into the center of the base. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the way I place my traps. You are totally welcome to use my trap configuration, or you can place your own. Like I said, the choice is up to you. And that just about wraps up this video. I hope you learned something, and I really hope that this base serves you well. Make sure to comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And folks, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.